Hi there, it's Dr. Kevin, author of The Hypothyroid Diet. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about adrenal fatigue and one indication that you may have. In a previous video, I talked a little bit about cortisol levels or your energy levels. Really, it's one of the distinguishing factors between someone that has hypothyroidism or adrenal fatigue. So look for that video. In this video, what I want to talk a little bit about is another symptom of adrenal fatigue, which is really having issues with blood sugar or hypoglycemia. People that have adrenal fatigue have issues with blood sugar. What this means typically is that you will get very shaky if you don't eat. Maybe you become very cranky or irritable if you don't eat. And then when you get that meal, you feel much better. And so what happens is your blood sugar is just climbing and it's falling, climbing and it's falling. And this correlates with your cortisol levels. So pay attention closely to your cravings. Are you craving salt? Are you craving sugar? Do you need to eat pretty frequently throughout the day? Otherwise, you just get cranky, irritable, or you get lightheaded, or you just don't feel well. This is an indication that, again, that you can have an issue with your blood sugar, which is tied very closely to adrenal fatigue. But so what you can do about this is just to eat, as I'd mentioned, more frequently. Instead of having two meals, three meals a day, five meals a day. Now, what I mean by meals is you don't have to sit down with a plate of food and have carbs, protein, and fat, but what you need to do is have a snack. A snack on foods that's going to help sustain your energy with fiber in it, with protein, with fat, hard-boiled eggs, beef jerky if you eat meat, okay, olives. These things have fat in them. They have protein in them. Some nuts are great, and it's going to sustain your energy. Just don't have a piece of fruit because that's really going to debilitate the blood sugar and retard your progress. We don't want that. So, Pay attention and make sure you eat breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day, right? Anyway, uh, hopefully this information has helped you. If you like the information, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will answer them. I'm here to help you. But anyway, um, I will talk to you very, very soon. But until I do talk to you, I want you to eat well and be well.